What is good, everybody? This is my most hated teams of the last decade, which is around the time I started my sports fandom. Uh, this is not teams in general. This is year by year each team. So I'm just going to take you down the list and tell you pretty much why I don't like these or why I did not like those teams of certain years. For example, if it's the 1998 Vikings or whatever. I mean, the majority, it does not mean I hate the teams right now. It just means in general. But to be honest with you, a majority of these teams are on the list of teams I just do not like. And you could argue they're on the same par of hatred. But let's dive into it. So we'll go from 5 to 1. How about that? Let's get started, man. So at number 5, we have the 2023 to 2024 Michigan Wolverines. So not only did they beat us to end our playoff hopes, but they also ended up winning the Natty. But in that, of course, came some controversy. You want to talk about the science dealing? They had some scout on the sideline. They investigated who that was. Not sure what exactly they were able to get, but they did find something which resulted in a suspension for Jim Harbaugh. And, you know, Carter Stallions, was, he purchased the tickets with his own name in over 30 games, over 30 years at 11 different Big Ten schools. So the investigation has just continued. And in that, Sherrod Moore, the assistant coach, even said, like, Jim Harbaugh, this is for you, man. Uh. Like, what in the world? When I watched that, I was like, what in the world was that? So that's just why I just do not like that team at all and yeah they fall in at number five on the list number four the 2019 to 2020 Cleveland Browns so this team in 2018 went seven eight and one obviously and one of the most notable games was obviously against us where Hugh Jackson was snubbed by Baker Mayfield in a handshake and just the way that the Browns team was conducting themselves throughout that entire game, let alone the entire second half of the season was just ridiculous. In addition, obviously they, in the off season, they, they grabbed Kareem Hunt and Odell Beckham Jr. leading to a boatload of hype and just toxicity among the fan base. The fan bases were talking to teams that had won more than them, which is let's face it at the time and even now, pretty much the four fifths of the entire league. And that led to just a insufferable amount of talking within the Browns fan base. And of course, it didn't end well. They went 6-10 and 10 and ended up losing to us, actually, in the last week of the season when we went 2-14 and 14 and got the number one overall pick to select, of course, Joe Burrow. So this team, right now, obviously is a different story. But back then, I just could not stand this team at all. I have still have hatred, like lingering hatred for them, but this team, I just could not even, like, bear but now I do like Baker, obviously, that he's on the Bucks. I guess it's just the effect of leaving Cleveland, though. But I do like Baker Mayfield, but I hated this Browns team. Number three, the 2021 St. Louis Cardinals. So obviously, in the second game of the season, Castellanos did a little flex on Wood Woodford. And guess who escalated it further? Yadi Molina did. And that led to an all-out brawl, the second brawl between these two teams in the last... 20 years obviously the most notable being 2010 with Brandon Phillips and Yadier Molina but this fight just pissed me off to the core I mean they escalated it just because of a flex and that let's not forget that flex was because of a hit by pitch that happened during Castellanos was at bat so he was just in the moment emotion is high but this led to just an absolute brawl and yeah obviously these two teams do not like each other at all and did not like each other back then as well and in addition to all that they finished above us by seven games in the standings thanks to a 17 game winning streak in a span of 18 days i cannot stand the cardinals right now and i obviously could not stand them back then it was ridiculous how they just got hot but it all came to fruition at until the end of course because chris taylor hit that walk-off bomb against the cardinals so it took you a six like a, a historical monumental 17 game winning streak just to play one more game than the Reds. Congrats, St. Louis. Number two, the 2016 to 17 Golden State Warriors. I had 2017 to 18 being pretty much on the same par, but I gave the slight edge to 16 to 17, and I'll tell you why. Obviously, this team was a super team, and it wasn't personal at this point because everybody did not like, you know, these four superstars together. And when KD went there, it just became just pure, outright pure hatred. And obviously, 
They blew a 3-1 lead in 2016, and the Cleveland Cavs obviously won the finals when we came back from a 3-1 deficit for the first time in 33 tries in the NBA Finals. Someone had came back, and then they came back and got KD, who beat, who just absolutely balled out in the 2017 Finals, of course, and that led to many insufferable Warrior fans saying he's and KD fans saying he's the best in the world, which is not true because he plays with two alongside two of the greatest shooters of all time, which allowed him to not face double teams as much. So it was just uh, just an insufferable move, and that just pissed me off because that led to the Cavs being robbed of two huge championships. I will say, though, regardless of like the fact that they got these rings, it was better. It, it, it eased the sting a little bit. They were close to being number one on this list, but it eased the sting a little bit because... The Cavs had one in 16, so at least we had that to hang up our heads on. But still, I just couldn't stand this team at all. I hated them so much, and they were just our biggest obstacle, obviously. But with the Warriors now, I mean, the fan base is still the same, but I do enjoy them a little bit more. You know, I do like Steph Curry a lot. He's always been one of my favorite players, but man, that fan base back then was insufferable. But, you know, now I guess I don't hate them anymore. But during the second LeBron era, I couldn't stand the Golden State Warriors. But they fall in number two in my most hated teams of the last decade. Coming in at number one, we have the 2015-16 to Pittsburgh Steelers. So let's get into why I hated this team a lot. So obviously, that rivalry back then, it was nothing but bad blood in every matchup from that three or four year stretch that this, these, two, these uh, two teams went at it. The Bengals obviously won the first matchup in 2015 between these two. It was 16 to 10, I believe. And the Steelers obviously came back and won the next one. And that obviously started off with a pregame scuffle, which, was, which got escalated by Vontez Perfect. And I believe it was James Harrison in the middle as well. It was just an absolute bloodbath. Uh, but unfortunately in the playoff matchup, it caused emotional trauma to all Bengals fans thanks to this and this. But I love how Steeler fans, they love to bring up the helmet hit and everything, but we forget Ryan Shazier's head tackle to Giovanni Bernard or Joey Porter coming onto the field. Let's be told, I could not stand this team. They were the most hypocritical team of the last decade in my eyes, which leads to them being at the top. And thank you for causing emotional trauma and the playoff drought to go on an additional six years. Thank God we broke it six years later. Otherwise, this loss would pain me a lot more today than it did back then. And there's your recap, guys. Number one, we got the 2015-16 Pittsburgh Steelers. Number two, the 2016-17 Golden State Warriors. Number three, the 2021 St. Louis Cardinals. Number four, the 2019 to 2020 Cleveland Browns. And number five, the 2023 to 24 Michigan Wolverines. Obviously, these four, these five teams, that does not make them my current most hated teams in sports. I mean, the Warriors are not. I don't even hate the Warriors at this point. I mean, they're not even remotely in the top 10. Uh, during the KD era, they sure as hell were. But right now, yeah, they. I actually don't hate them at all. Um, I actually respect them, if anything, because I do really like, I love Steph Curry. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. You guys have a great one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and go all four of these teams no matter what.